If you've been a fan of the channel for a while now, you know that when it comes to suits, I always talk about how important it is to choose seasonal fabrics, not only from a practical perspective in terms of suiting up and staying cooler, but also that these fabrics really complement and match the season. For all those reasons, a cotton suit is an absolute must have. I'm Brian Sakawa. you're watching He Spoke Style. Now let's take a look at five ways to style a khaki cotton suit and be sure to stick around to the end and look five specifically because we've got a little Easter egg in there. See if you can spot it. Here we are with look number one. Always got to start off super classic. And here we have an outfit that is about as classic and timeless as it gets. The suit here, let's talk a little bit about it since I'm going to be featuring it throughout the video. It is from the HSS Michael Andrews collection in a wonderful cotton from Huddersfield in England. One of the most buttery and softest cottons I felt used for a suit. Jacket is single breasted, two button, three and a half inch notch lapel. We've got patch pockets for a more casual feel, double vent and half lined. Pants, you can see that I've done belt loops instead of my usual side adjusters. And then I did go with a two inch cuff just to sort of dress it up slightly. Moving on now, underneath an ice blue Oxford cloth shirt, HSS Michael Andrews paired with a navy silk knit tie by Gitman Vintage. Squared off bottom gives it a more casual feel which matches really well with a cotton suit. Accessories, sunglasses are the Oliver Peoples Banks. Belt, also HSS Michael Andrews. On my wrist is the Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel. And then anchored by a pair of woven leather tassel loafers, the Allen Edmonds Palm Beach. This next look is an homage to one of the earliest style posts ever on the He Spoke Style website over seven years ago. Actually, stop the music and let's cut to a photo of that. Oh yeah, there it is. That was a cool photo. Seven years ago, that is crazy. Okay, back to the video now. Obviously, I didn't recreate the look exactly, but it was on my mind when I put this look together. So the idea was to keep everything neutral and in that brown realm. The biggest thing that I changed, as you can see, was the shirt. Instead of a plain white shirt, I went with a brown gingham shirt from our collection with Michael Andrews. Gives it more of a sporty feel, dresses the suit down, which again, really matches the overall casual vibe of a cotton suit. Tie, also a little different. Instead of the club tie from the original look, I went with just a solid brown grenadine by Drake's so it wouldn't be too busy with the pattern on the tie and the gingham check. Still have some texture though, which is nice. Simple white pocket square, nod to the original look here with the classic Ray-Ban Clubmasters. Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel on the wrist again. And finished off with a pair of penny loafers by Carmina. Another nod to an old HSS look here. This one not quite seven years ago, but still kind of deep in the archives. Cut to a photo, that's the one. All right, so this one is all about adding in some color. A little seasonal color, a little, well, just a different color than blue or brown. Let's start with the seasonal color, pink. Yes, men can wear pink. As a matter of fact, I think a pink shirt is a must have for the summer months. Not bright pink though, like a neon pink, but just a nice subtle color that just kind of gives you a little bit of a different palette to work with. My shirt, which is by Suit Supply, actually has a very subtle stripe, which I don't know if you'll be able to see in the video, which kind of a neat detail. I paired it with a green tie by Seaward and Stern. I really feel like this color is kind of a great bridge between the khaki suit and the pink shirt. It matches the earthiness of the khaki and it complements the pink of the shirt. Sunglasses again are the Oliver Peoples Banks. Switched out the belt, it's suede by Luca Falloni. VC Traditionnel on the wrist. Two boot New York suede penny loafers. Two things going on here with this look, losing the tie for a bit more of a casual approach and giving the look a little bit more of an edge by just using black as a contrasting color. Biggest thing though is that my shirt is not a button up shirt, but it is a polo shirt. It is from our collection with Michael Andrews. It's made with a Pima cotton. It's very soft, almost to the point where it feels like a nice merino wool. So the overall effect is that it looks more elevated and it feels more elevated. I love the deeper placket. We've got five buttons on the shirt. And one of the reasons that it works so well under the jacket here is that the collar has a lot more structure to it than say your quote unquote classic cotton PK polo. 
Keeping with that slightly edgier thing that I'm going for here, I went with my John Vervedos sunglasses. There's always a little bit of a rock and roll vibe to John Vervedos. Also got some rock and roll on the wrist too with the Langa Datagraph. And then shoes are my Black Suede Mr. Casuals by Belgian Shoes. Finally, just a very simple and very easy way to dress down a cotton suit and keep it looking seasonal. Pretty much the same look as number three, though since we don't have the tie, obviously more casual. In the summer, when I am wearing a button-up shirt with a suit and no tie, I always like to unbutton one extra button to keep it looking more relaxed. This is a very simple look, and we've seen most of these pieces before, so we'll just run through them really quickly. Pocket Square is by Drake's. Sunglasses are the Oliver People's Banks. Belt, HSS Michael Andrews. Vacheron Constantin Traditionnel and the Allen Edmonds Grand Cayman Horsebit Loafers. So we actually have a follow-up video to this coming very soon that will deal more with ways you can take a khaki cotton suit and break it up into separates, as well as some outfits that I would say are a little bit more adventurous. So please subscribe and hit the bell right now so you can be the first to know once that goes live. In the meantime, please do drop a comment down below and let me know which look was your favorite. Links to everything I wore, as always, down below in the description. Until next time, thanks for watching, and stay tuned.